The King of Queens cast, then and now, 2022. Hello my friends, welcome back to our Then and Now channel. In this video, I will show you how the characters in The King of Queens have changed over the years. Before coming to The King of Queens, click, please click the subscribe button to not miss any of our videos. And now, let's go to The King of Queens. Kevin James as Doug Heffernan. He's an average parcel delivery man with a cheeky personality who never hesitates to protest his grievances vocally. Some of his problems are fueled by his love of food. These basic desires sometimes cause him to think of selfish, dangerous schemes in order to get what he wants, although they usually fall through in the end, causing constant arguments between Doug and Carrie. Leah Rimini as Carrie Heffernan. She's Doug's sardonic wife. She has a fiery temper and occasionally lashes out at people, mainly Doug. She's been characterized as scary by Holly and Doug, particularly when she is annoyed. During a flashback, Carrie concludes that she is happier when others are miserable. She never finished college and is employed as a deadbeat legal secretary. Jerry Stiller as Arthur Spooner. He's Carrie's widowed father, who's been married three times. His fourth marriage is to Spence's mother during the final episode of the final season, which ends shortly after in the same episode. Arthur is the classic oddball of the family. He lives in the basement of the Heffernan house because he accidentally set fire to his own uninsured home, burning it to the ground in the pilot episode. Victor Williams as Deacon Palmer. He's Doug's best friend and co-worker. Towering in height and athletic, Deacon is a year and a few weeks younger than Doug, but the more level-headed of the two, in addition to being the classic family man. He and his wife, Kelly, have two sons, Major and Kirby. Patton Oswalt as Spencer, Spence, Olchin. He's another friend of Doug's and the nerd of the group. He tends to be the angst-ridden, sickly, and he takes an interest in science fiction, fantasy movies, and comic book conventions, interests that his friends do not share. Spence's birthday is February 14th. He is Albanian in heritage and works as a subway token booth clerk. Larry Romano as Richard Ricci Iannucci. He's one of Doug's closest friends. He and Doug were roommates before Doug married Carrie. He was quietly written out of the show in season three so Romano could work on another sitcom. During that season, he only appeared in one episode, Paint Misbehavin'. He mostly addressed Doug as Moose. Gary Valentine as Daniel Danny Heffernan. He's Doug's cousin, and he's also seen hanging out with Doug, Deacon, and Spence. In the show's early seasons, Doug has a negative view of Danny bordering on hate due to the latter's over-eagerness to spend time with the former. But at the end of Snow Job, they become friends and co-workers and regularly hang out, along with Deacon and Spence. Nicole Sullivan as Holly Shumpert. She's a polite yet timid dog walker who, like the Heffernans, lives in Queens, where she was hired by Doug and Carrie to walk Arthur. She's often seen arriving at the Heffernan home to pick up Arthur, but is also a family friend of the Heffernans. She is often viewed as strange because of her habits, the men she dates, her sketchy ethics, and her habit of drinking too much, to which she openly confesses. Lisa Rifel as Sarah Spooner. She's Carrie's younger half-sister, an irresponsible aspiring actress. She appears in only five of the first six episodes and was only mentioned one other time in episode 52 by Doug as an excuse to get his boss out of performing a roast. After the show became more popular, Kevin James was asked during an interview to explain what happened to Sarah. Thank you for watching the change of The King of Queens. What do you think of their change? 
Let us know what you think in the comments section, and we'll talk. If you find the video good, please don't regret one like and sharing them. Goodbye, and see you in the next videos. Thank you.